Cows are complex, sensitive beings who display amazing traits of intelligence and a wide range of emotions. Dairy cows actively maintain friendships and have their own unique personalities. Each one of these animals is an individual having their own conscious, subjective experience of reality. So please keep in the forefront of your mind that cows are someone, not something. Although there are farms who use a bull in the pen for breeding, it is not as reliable as the most common form of breeding, which is euphemistically known as the AI method, artificial insemination. This process is essentially the sexual violation of male and female animals in order to produce calves to make up the dairy herd. Some farmers do it because it just does not make financial sense for them to go out and spend thousands of dollars. They just don't want the problems that some of the bulls cause. Some bulls are very hot, meaning tempered. They're very aggressive. If they can get more cows bred in like the first 21 days of the month, the cow cycle, they're gonna have more calves hit the ground, which actually brings better money. The advantage of AI is the selection of high quality sperm for breeding purposes. Semen quality is considered best when the bulls are under three years of age, prior to them reaching maturity. Sperm is extracted from stud bulls either via the use of an artificial vagina, or more commonly, via electro-ejaculation with a rectal probe. As we load them into the alleyway, get them caught in the head catch. First thing we like to do is do a scrotal circumference measure. Um, there are parameters set out for minimums on those young bulls, and obviously they have to pass those. We also palpate the testicles, epididymis, make sure that everything palpates normally. And then we go ahead and do a rectal evaluation of the internal genitalia. So we can reach over the brim of the pelvis, palpate both internal inguinal rings, make sure that there's not more than a finger or two width in either one. This probe is uh, inserted into the rectum and it's got some very targeted weak electrical current that's targeted directly onto the accessory sex glands which I just palpated and some of the surrounding uh, musculature. That weak electrical stimulation then uh, causes him to have an erection and an ejaculation. And you will probably see the bull react to the first pulse. You can see the bull starting This to probe is inserted into here. the anus of the restrained male animal where it sends in an electrical current, forcing the bull to ejaculate. This is a highly intrusive procedure and highlights the perversity of dairy industry practices. Uh, you can see that he's reacting more so and he is putting out quite a lot of prostate fluid and there we had uh, an, a full ejaculate of uh, a good, what appears to be grossly a good uh, sperm sample. Once the semen is collected, it is distributed to dairy farms where it is used to impregnate the female animals. Of course, with cows being mammals, like humans they have to have given birth in order to produce milk. The method for females, which generally does not legally require a licensed veterinarian, involves restraining the cow in a cattle crush. Today we're going to go through a step-by-step -step process on how to AI. Point your fingertips to your thumb and insert your palpating hand into the rectum. Wipe the vulva of any manure in order to avoid bringing in infectious bacteria. Making a fist and applying downward pressure will cause the vulva to slightly open, allowing a clean entrance. Insert the catheter into the vulva at a slight upward angle to avoid the urethra. Begin to level out the angle of the catheter as you gently push the catheter forward into the tract. Now the problem with heifers is they have a very, very small cervix and they are, they've never had this process done before. So they can get a little jittery. Of course, they're uncomfortable. She's got, you know, a complete forearm upper rear end. Um, and then you're trying to poke this plunger in um, to try to find that without injuring her. She won't like it very much to begin with, but she'll get used to it. So you just kind of work your gun in there. Right there is the cervix. I'm against the cervix right now. Deposit the semen relatively slowly. About as long as it takes you to say, one more AI calf. 
This is very common practice in most dairies, with 89% of dairy operations in the US using this method. This procedure starts when a cow is at breeding age, which begins at around 18 months to 2 years old. These breeding practices are consistent in almost all worldwide dairy farms.